welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing four new dollar store Christmas DIYs. All of these DIYs are super easy and affordable to make, and I can't wait to share them with you. Before we get started, I'd love if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and I hope you enjoy these Christmas DIYs. <music> For my first DIY today, I'm going to be creating this Christmas garland. Since we don't have a fireplace, I'm going to use our TV stand as a sort of mantle for the garland. I got this 9 foot garland at Walmart for $5. I was planning on getting a couple of the 12 foot garlands from Dollar Tree, but when I went there this morning, both of the Dollar Trees near me didn't have any left, so I just got this one instead. They also had lighted ones for $15, but I got a pack of these mini lights from Dollar Tree and I'm going to weave them into this garland. I also have this, which is a strand of pine cones, greenery, and berries, which I got at Dollarama. And I'm going to use these as decorations in the garland. I'm going to start with this and then see how it looks and if I wanna add anything else in there. I'm folding the garland in half, then arranging it how I want it to be. Now I'm going to fluff all of these and get it laying how I want it to. I'm taking these lights and putting them onto the garland. The strand of lights wasn't quite long enough to extend across the whole thing, so I'm focusing the lights mostly in the middle of the garland, but I'm weaving them throughout the branches as much as I can. Here's what it's looking like with all the lights on. I'm now taking this strand of pine cones and berries and adding it to the garland. Instead of cutting off pieces of this branch with the pine cones and the berries, I decided to just weave it all throughout this garland, which makes it a lot easier. But if you do have smaller pieces or picks that you want to stick into the garland, then you can definitely do that as well. I would recommend maybe tying it around the garland with some string or twine. I'm just weaving it in and then pulling out the branches of the garland out where I think they need to be to cover up some of the branch and then just to make it look really cohesive. I have these gold leaf picks left over from my Christmas wreath video, and I think I'm gonna try and stick some of these in the garland. The sides are particularly lacking just because my strand of lights didn't reach all the way to both ends. So to jazz it up a little bit, I think I'll stick in some of these gold leaves and see how that looks. I really like what this is looking like with those gold leaves popping up in there. And then here's the rest of the garland. I do have two more of these leaves that I think I might do in the center here. I have two of these candle holders I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to put a candle in each of them and then put them on either end of the garland. For the next DIY, I'm going to be making this wall hanging for my stockings. My next project is going to be figuring out a way to hang my stockings. Since we don't have a mantle or a fireplace, I was thinking of stringing them on a garland up on the wall here. And to do that, I got this garland at Dollarama for $2. It's basically just a piece of jute with some little pine cones and red berries. So if you can't find something similar to this, you could easily make it just with some jute string from the dollar store and you can get bags of these pine cones. Or if you live somewhere that has lots of pine cones around, even better. And then you could 
attach any berries or greenery that you wanted. I also have a bunch of these decorative bells I got from the dollar store that I might add on here. I think what I'm gonna do first is hang this up on the wall and then hang the stockings on it and see if I wanna add any more greenery or anything like that to it. To hang this on the wall, I got two of these command hooks. I'm going to spray paint these gold just to make them look a little more festive and not stand out so much with the bright white. This is what the hooks are looking like after two coats of spray paint. I didn't bother painting the back since those will be against the wall anyway. Okay, I've got my pine cone garland and now I'm gonna hang it on the wall. I've got all these bells I got from the dollar store here and we're going to tie these little strings they came with and then attach them to the garland. I made these two little bows from ribbon I got at Dollar Tree and I'm going to attach these to the garland as well. Next up, I'll be making this DIY stocking tag. I got these two stockings for my husband and I at Walmart this year. And since they don't have our names on them anywhere, I thought it would be fun to make little stocking tags. I'm going to use these little wooden bell ornaments from Dollar Tree and this spray paint to paint them gold. I did a couple of coats on either side and then let them dry before moving on to the next step. Now I'm writing our names on the ornaments, just using a black sharpie. Next, I'm taking these wooden beads I got from Michaels and stringing them on some red and white twine. I'm then attaching the string to the ornament and then tying it onto the stocking. I'm now tying a couple of knots at the bottom so the beads don't fall off. Here's the finished stocking tag. It's super simple, but I thought since the stockings were such bright red that I would keep the tags more neutral. And with the added wooden beads, I think it just adds a nice little something special. My last DIY is making over these two nutcrackers. Now I have to say this was kind of a half fail and I will share why. I definitely learned a couple things along the way. I'm going to be spray painting these little nutcrackers to make them a little more modern looking. I got these at Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using this gold spray paint and the white spray paint and painting each of them in a different color. Before I do that, I'm going to remove all of their hair. Here's the before and after. Now to do this guy. We have our two hairless nutcrackers and now it's time to paint them. The 
this is what the gold nutcracker is looking like after a few coats. It looks pretty good. And here's what the white one is looking like. You can still see the red shining through. I probably should have used some kind of primer or something beforehand, but the white is really not giving me the effect that I'm wanting it to. So instead, I'm just gonna paint over it with the gold spray paint. This is the nutcracker that used to be white that I painted over and I don't know if it's just because I have so many layers of paint on here that it didn't dry quite right but this one does not look very good. It is not helping that at one point his legs came off and I guess I put them back on a little bit crooked so now he's kind of a splotchy leaning nutcracker. It's not good. Now this other nutcracker that I painted gold in the first place I think looks a lot better. I think the key with spray painting is to do light even coats and if you're working with a lighter color like the white then it's probably best to prepare the surface somewhat maybe by sanding it down or by using a primer or something like that. As I said this last DIY was a bit of a fail but definitely a learning opportunity. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed all of these dollar store Christmas DIY projects. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite and if there are any other DIY projects you'd like to see me do. I have lots of videos coming your way this month so be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of those and I'll see you next time.